Welcome to the Ark on Ark. It's time to rally your dinos two by two as we create the perfect Ark base to keep them safe and sound. Inside you'll find dino lodgings, dino lodgings, dino lodgings, and more dino lodgings. Oh, and of course a central hub area awaits for all your crafting needs. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to show your support by hitting that like button, showing your thoughts in the comments, and of course by subscribing. It's not just free, it might just save me from drowning in the flood that's on the horizon. So without further delay, let's dive into today's extraordinary build. Hello everyone, I am Lols at Lance and I hope you're all having a fantastic day because mine just took a seriously weird turn. I was casually doing my thing in my holiday home when all of a sudden... Lance? What the hell? Lance, is this thing on? Hello, testing, testing. Dodo, you can talk? No, no, not the Dodo, look to the skies, I am God. Oh yeah? Well, if you're God, then prove it. Give me a sign or something. Oh, fine. Look behind you. Behind me? When I said give me a sign, I didn't mean an actual sign, but this works. Lance, I need you to build me an ark. You want me to build an ark, but we're already in an ark. This is an ark. No, I mean an ark boat. And I need you to put two of every dinosaur inside it. Sure. Wait, what? You don't want to know why I want you to build me an ark? No, I'm good. I just want to build. I'll be back with an ark. Oh, okay then. So apparently God wants me to build an ark to house two of every single dinosaur. Talk about a divine twist. So I've decided to embark on this wild journey right here. On the map, we're at latitude 66.4, longitude 70.7. We're in the vicinity of the green obelisk, surrounded by lush, long, grassy fields, plenty of shrubbery and trees, and a giant river that gracefully cuts through the landscape. This area is practically screaming for me to build my ark here, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so I have a very big task to do today. I'm building the ark in ark. That is insane. I don't know how I'm going to achieve this, but we're going to try. And I'm thinking I'm going to build the boat kind of going into the water here ever so slightly. The only thing is it's going to need to get over this hill here. There's a little little hill here. So we're going to have to build it up quite high. So I've already placed my first pillar in right here. So from here I'm going to go one, two, three. And I think that's just going to get over this hill ever so, yeah. I think it'll be close, but I think we'll make that little hill. So that's as high as we're going to go. So just be wary wherever you're building. You just need to make sure that you're going to be able to clear any hills that are going to get in the way. So I think I'm going to be okay with this. So from this pillar, I'm going to put in one, two, three. Put in some pillars and four. And that is our starting block here. So from here, we're going to want to put some triangles in. So one, two, three. And then you want to add a pillar. And then one, two, three, four. And add a pillar. Then we're repeating what we just did over there. We're going to go one, two, pillars. One, two two so that's four in total pillars perfect so from here now we're gonna go and place so many triangles you will not believe it we're gonna place 41 and i don't mean 41 triangles i mean so if i just place in a few here so there's one two that's how we're gonna count this so one two and then we're gonna go three four five, six, seven, eight, all the way till we get to 41 going that way. And I'm also going to place uh, pillars after every two, like so. So yeah, 41, that's what we're aiming for. Let's go ahead and get that done.
Okay, I think that's 41. I just counted. I did go a bit too far at the end there. So you want to have 41 on the inside. So I've gone all the way 41 to there. So that's my 41. And then I did another triangle and another pillar. Now I should say at this stage that this build is scalable. So you can literally take what I'm doing and just scale it down if you want to. Or even scale it up. So from here, we're going to do exactly what we did over there. We're going to bring it back around now. So one, two, we're going to do four ceiling tiles in total, like so. Oh, it's raining. We need to build this boat fast, guys. It started. Then we're going to go one, two, three. Bam, bam. One, two, three, four. Just make sure you've always got one, two, three, four, like so. That's better, it stopped raining. So, right, we're gonna go one, two, then we're gonna do pillars. Bam, bam. One, two. Whoopsie daisy. And pillars. And then, literally, guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the triangles again the squares again, and then triangles going all the way down. So you're just going to do exactly what you did on that side, but on this side. So it will be triangles next, like so. Um, then once you've got these in, it will then be ceiling tiles, then triangles and go all the way back around and then curve it back around here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'll see you in a second. And if you've done everything correctly, you should have something that looks like this. This is going to be the very bottom of the boat. So now we find ourselves with the very tedious task of filling this in, which will require a ton of ceiling tiles and pillars. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a task, but the best way to do this, guys, is wherever there's squares, we're going to put some squares, bring this down. One, two. So I'm going to go out by four here. And fill this all in. And then once you've got one, two, three, four, where the triangles are, you're going to put triangles. Oh my god, I can't count. One, two, three, four. We don't need the fifth one here. <laughs> and we just need the four. And then we could do the same here. So that's one, two, three, four. So we'll do that all the way across. And then inside this section here, we're just going to put all triangles. And then everything you've just done here, we're going to go and repeat on this side. And just like that, we have completed this side. So, now here comes the longest part, literally the longest part, as you can see. <laughs> we got to do triangles going from here all the way across. So, like this, and fill it all in on this side. You can kind of see what pattern's happening here. So, that's all going to be triangles. This is all going to be triangles. And then in the middle will all be squares. So, you can see the pattern now. 
but we just got to make it happen. So I'm going to do this side with you and then I'll do that side off camera. Okay, so everything I just did on that side, you're going to do on this side. So I'll see you in a second. And just like that, that side is also in. Now, as you can see, we've got a giant rectangle left to do. So we're just going to fill that in with ceiling tiles. So let's get to that now. And I'm going to do that off camera because that's pretty straightforward. You just put in the ceilings and the pillars as you go along. And we have done that as well. That is all filled in and looking like a giant platform. Uh, with the pillars, I decided to do one, two, three pillar, one, two, three pillar. I felt like that was the most efficient. And then this way I did one, two pillar, one, two pillar. That also seemed to be the most efficient. And I did that all the way until I got to the end. So now we need to build the boat upwards to make it look like an actual boat. So how are we going to do this, I hear you ask? Well, we are going to do that using some roof tiles. So we're going to be using the triangle roof and the normal roof. That is not the normal roof. There it is. And we're going to make sure that they're facing outwards rather than inwards. So for this first section with the squares here, we're actually going to use the triangle. And if I can get it to go out like that, there we go. So we're going to go all the way across like so. And then we're going to go up another one. And another. And then on the triangle section here, we are going to use the normal roof tile. Followed by the triangles. And then we're going to do the same thing we just did there on this side here. And you should have something that looks like that. And then we're going to do the exact same thing over here on the other side. So I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you in a second. Ta-da! That side is also now done and you probably guessed what's going to happen next. We're now going to need to fill in this side and that side with just the roof tile now. So it's a bit easier because it's all just this one tile. Um, also, if you're playing on survival, which of course you will be, it's a lot easier to place them down on the inside because you can climb up and just keep putting them down like so which is a lot easier so I'm gonna go away now and do this side and that side and I'll see you in a second and if you have put both sides in successfully you should have a giant bathtub look at that what a lovely lovely looking bathtub so next, we are going to go around the entire rim of the build with the pillars, not just on the top here, but also on the bottom. So we're going to go around like this, all the way around the entire rim. And also down here, we're going to go all the way around the bottom part as well. So I'm going to get started on this now and you guys just need to go all the way around there and all the way around the bottom. And when you are done, you should have all the pillars going around the top and around the bottom. The bottom part isn't completely necessary if you're trying to save on materials. Uh, the top part, however, is very necessary because it, what it does is it allows us to place walls across the triangle usually you can't place walls on top of these triangle roof pieces but with the pillars you can so with the walls we're going to go up one two and we're going to do that across the entire boat 
I'm gonna go all the way around this boat now, doing two walls. So again, I will go away and do that, and I'll see you in a second. Oh my god, this build is so big. I've, this is easily the biggest base I've built so far, isn't it? I think it is. So now we need to fill this bad boy in. So I need to work out the pattern here of how this is going to be filled in. But to fill this in, we are not going to do it right at the top. We're going to go one down and that is going to be our starting point for how we're going to fill this in. So I'm thinking the pattern is going to be similar to the one on the floor down there. So we're going to go out by maybe three or four here. Okay, so that's four. Now if we use the triangle block here, how's this gonna work? Nice, then I'm guessing we'll go back to ceilings here. And square ceilings on this side. And then I'm guessing, similar to down there, we'll do triangles in this gap here. I forgot to uh, fill that gap in there, just so everyone <laughs> knows. So it should go all the way up to the corner with the ceilings, and then yeah, this should have I done this side as well? I haven't even finished this side. Look, it needs to go all the way to the corner, and then we can fill it in with triangles. There we go, and then we're going to do the exact same thing all the way over here. Just like magic, this side is also complete. So as you can tell, just like down here, we're gonna have to go all the way across with triangles to this side and on that side. So let's do that. And lastly, we're just going to fill in the middle with just standard ceiling tiles all the way through. So I'll do that now and I'll be with you in a second. Oh my god, that took so long to fill that in. <laughs> I was like falling it, my eyes were going as I was filling it in. I literally nearly fell asleep. So now that we've got this top layer, we're now going to work on the rim here. So we're going to add in ceiling tiles going all the way around. So it'll be like this. So everywhere there's a square below, there'll be a square on top. And everywhere there's a triangle below, there'll be a triangle on top like this. And basically what we're going to do is going to go all the way around doing the same thing. So ceilings here. And we're going to do all that going around the entire thing. And then we will cover this with walls all the way around like that. So that's what we're going to do all the way around the entire rim. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera again. We're trying to save as much time with the video as we can because I understand this is a massive build. And I don't want this video to be like two hours long. So, but it's very simple. The build's surprisingly very simple and straightforward. So, yeah, so just do the ceilings and then we'll do the walls after. So we'll do that all the way around and I'll see you in a second. 
And if you did all that correctly, you should have a nice thick rim going around the outside. I decided to do the inside walls rather than the outside walls. So this is an outside wall. I decided to do the inside walls on the inside here. I think that looks very nice. So what I think would be best is to work on the top part here. So I want to put like a top house on top of the arc. Let's call it the arc on top of the arc. But I haven't planned this yet, so I need to quickly go away and work out how this is going to work, and I'll be with you in a second. This has taken me ages to figure out, but I have figured out how I want to do the top. So what I've done is mocked the middle with some pillars here of this section here. So that's one, two, three, four, and that is the middle right here. So knowing that's the middle, I know I want to put a dinosaur gate in, but obviously with dinosaur gates, they're two blocks wide. So one, two. So I need what I need to do is use the quarter walls so I can have it dead in the middle. So I've got out by about one, two, three here. So if you're doing this yourself, you look where the middle is. Here's the middle. So I'm going to go forward. So I don't want it on this block here, which is the middle block. I want to go out by one and then place it. And the same, this is the middle. I'm going to go out by one and then place it here. You could even use a wall here just to guide you a bit better. So that's the middle. If we go back, we should walk through the pillars. Yeah, that is the middle. So we want to place not there, but here and not there, but here. And then you can go ahead and delete that afterwards. So from the quarter wall, we're going to go out by one, two, three. And the same on this side as well. We're going to go out by three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to go up by one, two. And then here we'll go up by one and stagger it upwards. And the same on this side. And then we'll fill in this little gap here and put in some more walls at the top. So it should look like that. And then, of course, we need to go up with our quarter walls here and here. Perfect. I mean, don't worry about the gaps because we'll probably fill that in with pillars. But if you didn't want to put pillars, you just need to make sure you're using the right quarter walls. There are two quarter walls in total. So just make sure you're using the right one to avoid the gaps. And then we're going to use the sloped wood walls going up to the top and at the very top here we're going to put in two quarter walls just like that then on the sides here we need to put in our pillars going down to the floor like so they need to be straight in line with the walls because what we're going to do on this side is add walls going off the pillars so you need to get the right snap point there and then you should be able to place them in and it should let us just do that forever and it is letting us do that hell yeah and the same on this side fantastic now i'm going to show you what we're going to be doing with the roof here so you know so with the roof, we're going to go up with our normal roof tiles up by three. And the same on the other side. Like so. Then we're going to use the ramp. So this is the ramp. I'm going to flip the ramp over so it's on the opposite side like so. And we're going to use it up here as well. So I'm going to place it there and here and also down here and then right at the top here we're going to put a ceiling tile but we're going to do it the reverse side and then in the gaps here the way i'm going to fill this in is by using the railings so i'm going to clip it onto that and onto that and there we have it so I'm actually going to bring that out into an overhang, so I'll quickly do that now. Mm -hmm. 
And there we go. I have created a nice rounded roof there. I think this is a much cooler design than having just a big point. I think this works well for this build. So I'm going to delete these now. We don't need them. And now I just need to work out how far back this goes. So I'm just going to put in the walls here and I'll let you know how many we're going to go across. Right, so the total width of this is going to be 43. Starting from this block here, this is 43 across. And then literally we're just going to do the same thing we did over there on this side. So I need to add in a pillar. Perfect. So all I'm going to do now is connect everything up. So we need to do a line of walls and we need to connect the roof just following exactly the same pattern we've done up here and go all the way across. And with that roof going across the entire thing, we suddenly have a giant boat. Look at this. Wow. So we're not done with the top part yet. We've still got quite a few more things to do. I think the first thing I'm going to do is add in some pillars. Now, I want to put some pillars down here to hide these little gaps for a start. Go across here. And we'll even go down here as well. There we go, and of course anything I do on this side you'll need to do on the other side as well. I'm also going to put in some pillars going up every two walls, I think. Here, I accidentally placed a ramp there, but I actually quite like that. I might do that in a few places. I think that was a happy accident. I might do that every... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe on every fifth. One, two, three, four, five. We could do that on every fifth uh, block as well. So let's put the pillars and the ramps in now. There we go, so we've got our ramps in. I don't know if I actually like them or not, <laughs> but they're gonna stay there for now. They just look like they're supporting the roof. Um, so everything I've done on this side, you need to do on the other side, and also you need to do what I did on that side, on this side. Now the other thing I'm thinking is I want some railings going up here. So we could have them go all the way around the roof like this. I do quite like that, so just do the same on the other side. So we want to add a dinosaur gate into the doorway as well. And the best way to do this is just to disable snapping and just place it in manually like this. So I'm going to put it in about there. Ta-da! And we'll do the same on this side. Perfect. So let's park the top for now. And let's work out how we're going to get in and out of this arc. <laughs> so I'm thinking I want a doorway around here somewhere. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do it there. Well, I've just made this hole, one, two, three. So from this side here, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth, I'm going to take out two of the roof tiles and go one, two, three. So yeah, just three wide. I might take this out as well, we'll see. But first of all, let's put in some ramps here. Lovely. That's pretty cool, I, I dig that. I do want to check that a mammoth can fit through this. I'd like it so that I can even fit a T-Rex in this. 
Not sure a T-Rex would fit into that hole. A mammoth can though, so that's good. Okay, will he fit? Yes, he will. Let's go. Okay, we got a Rex on here. Okay, now that the ramp is in, I think I want to add some pillars going around the whole build. Now, I kind of want this to look like, you know, this is before the flood has happened. So the Ark has just been constructed and it's ready for the flood. So, I mean, it's such a big build. If anyone was to really build this, uh, you'd need all of this support. So we're going to put in a load of support going around the outside now. So I'm probably going to go one two three walls at a time and take pillars going all the way down on each side so this is ooh, one two three four i kind of want a pillar over the door here so let's just add in some pillars here quickly and here There we go. Okay, so we'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, four. We'll do one, two, three, four, just to make it even. And then we'll go back to three. One, two, three. I'm gonna do this all the way around the build now, just going three at a time. So now it looks like we've got some supports on either side, like it's still under construction. I really like that. I'm not sure I'll put it at the front and the back yet. I think we'll leave that to a bit later. Maybe I will put that in, maybe I won't. And now we find ourselves at that part of the build where everything from here on out I haven't planned. I've planned everything up until now, <laughs> but now I'm just going to make it up as I go along. So what can I do next? You know what? There's something I want to do here, but it would require me to have some support. So you know what? We are going to put some pillars right here. Let's put some coming down from here. And some coming down from here. There we go. Okay, so I should be able to do what I want to do up here. So I want to bring this out by two. And then I'm going to place a ceiling tile down there as well. And we're going to go up with some walls on either side. And here as well. But here we need to do a corner piece. So let's put a corner piece in. Like so. And we need to put a roof piece in here. We can get it to work. There we go. And then I kind of want it to come all the way down this way. If we can get that to happen as well. It seems to be letting us. Can I get it to go there? There we go. Okay. And then how am I going to fill this bit up? I think I'll be able to do it with the corner pieces. I can. Okay, so the corner pieces here. Like so is clipping into the roof a little bit there. Do it all the way going down there. And all the way going down here. Lovely. I really like that. So I'm going to put in some railings up here. And then... I think I want a railing to sort of pop up like that. And again on this side. Get it to pop up. And then one, two, two. Okay. And then maybe a pillar. Yeah. 
Then the pillars can go all the way around here. We're cooking. I'm cooking right now. Then some pillars going up. Yeah, look at that little detail. It's kind of cool. Okay, I think as well we could probably put some railings coming on down here. And will let me put another one in here. There we go. And on this side. Possibly up here as well. Oh yeah, look at that. So I'm going to do that same thing on the other side. Um, and I'm also going to go around the entire build now on the outside using the pillars. So let's put all of these in and I will see you in two seconds. There we go. The pillars are going all the way around the entire rim again. So the next thing we're going to do is still to the rim. I'm thinking I want railings to go all the way around, but not just on this side. So we're going to add them in across the outside here. But I think I'm also going to put them onto the inside part. Whoopsie daisy. So not, not this guy here. Get rid of him. But yeah, inside and outside. And we'll go all the way around. So let's quickly do this. Okay, all the railings are in and it's looking a lot nicer. So there's two things that I haven't actually accounted for. One of them is how are we going to get from this level to the upper level? So I need to find a way to get us up there. And the other thing is windows. I think this area down here needs some windows to let in a bit more light. But first of all, let's work on the ramp to go up. Okay, so for the ramp, I'm actually going to start from the top part of the base and I'm going to start deleting some of these tiles now. Let's think about this. Maybe somewhere around here. So if I start breaking one, two, three, it doesn't really matter where, guys. You kind of choose for yourself where you want to go. It doesn't have to be exactly where I've done it. Um, but the main thing I think is it needs to have an opening that's angled inwards like this rather than outwards. So I'm going to angle this inwards. Get rid of these. God damn it, I just killed my Rex. <laughs> I was going to use him to see if I can get up and down from here. Damn, I have to get another one. Okay, so like this, and then we're going to use the stairs, I believe. I think the stairs are going to be the best thing here. A ramp's just not sloped enough. We'll never know if we can fit a wet Rex up there. I'm sure you can. If we get the Mammoth up there, we should be able to get the Rex up there. Let's see. Mammoth? Okay, I need to destroy some more tiles. Let's get rid of this layer as well. That should be enough now. Yeah. That's plenty. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Rex. Let's eat your fallen comrade. Down here. There we go. Will she fit up the ramp? Let's see. Yes, she does. Let's go. Okay, so the wrecks can fit up here. So let's just finesse this a little bit with some railings. And some pillars as well. And I think I'll put another one of those staircases in on this side, facing the other way. So maybe so you walk into it coming in that way. There we go. I tried a three stairs rather than two stairs, which might work a little bit better for big dinos. But I mean, we're not really going to put any of our big dinos up there. They're mainly going to be down here, I think. 
So now I need to work out how we're going to let in a bit more light into the underside of this boat. So my first idea for this is maybe putting in a doorway uh, up here where the walls are. Uh, will this look good? And will it let in light? And more importantly, how will it look on the outside? You know, I don't hate that. And we can put doors in here as well. So let's go ahead and do that all the way across. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, that's a lot of windows. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Aha. Uh -huh. Obviously the sun's over there right now, not over here. So that's why there's, it's not really letting in any light. So let's do this side as well and just see what it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of starting to look a bit more like a cruise ship than an ark. <laughs> uh, I know I do like the windows. Let's put in some doors and just see what it's going to look like with the doors. So something like that with the doors. And if they're all open and they're opening outwards, they'll look like shutters. If I can open them this way. So they look like that now with the shutters. I quite like that. I think that's what we'll go with. So we're going to put doors across all of the windows. Okay, we've kind of fixed the lighting in here with those additional windows. I think that does work quite nicely. We can probably add more if we need. Maybe some greenhouse glass here if we really want to get in some light. But I'm, I'm happy with this for now. So the next thing I need to think about is how to get light into the top area up here. Oh my god, how do you get up here, Mr. Parasaur? What on earth? Well, that's interesting. He literally must have climbed up through the whole base to get up here. <laughs> so for the windows, I'm actually thinking about using the greenhouse glass, which is kind of crazy. But we're going to see how it works. So I'm going to go one, two, three, greenhouse, greenhouse. One, two, three, greenhouse, greenhouse. And I'll do that all the way to the end. And already that has let in so much more light up here. So I think the next thing is I'm going to put some greenhouse glass down below each section we've just done. So where there's glass up here, there's going to be glass down here. And I'm going to do that all the way to the end again. Lovely. Look at all the light now. So let's just see what this looks like on the outside. Uh, ooh, I accidentally did this. I mean, I don't dislike it. I quite like it, so we'll keep it. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did on this side, on this side. There we go. We have light successfully penetrating into the top section. Okay, what should I do next is the big question. I'm thinking we want a way to get up to this little ledge here. So we can peek over the edge while we're sailing the seas. So let's get some stairs going on up here. Thinking of using the spiral staircase on either side like that. I think that would be nice. And if I get rid of this. And this. Then we've got two ways to get up and down. And on this side, let's try a different design. Let's just try the normal staircases and see how that looks. Uh huh. Could do it going all the way across. Might be a bit much. Let's see. I quite like that. I think I prefer that to this side. But there you go. You've got two different designs there to to choose between. You got the straight stairs and you have the little spirally staircase either side. So really all that's left for me to do is to do the interior. So I'm going to go ahead and go into super fast build mode and build the whole of this upstairs. I don't know what I'm going to do to it. I have no idea. 
But what I do know is that we need a crafting area, like a main hub. We need some bedrooms, and then we need a bit of dino storage up here for the dinos. Um, downstairs, I honestly think I'm going to leave the downstairs as is. Because don't forget, the art gods told us to just have two of everything. And we need all the space we can get, to be honest, for the dinos. So that we can fit them all in. We'll have two Rexes, two Spinos, two Diplodocus, whatever they're called. And two Mammoths, etc, etc. So we'll have two of everything down here. And then up here, we'll have some Dinos that are smaller, like Parasaurs. I mean, this guy's already up here, chilling out. Uh, Dodos, all your little pets, etc. We'll have enclosures for all of them. And a main hub, and also a place to sleep. That's the plan. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do. So wish me luck. Let's get to it. Okay, so what I've done so far is segmented off some areas for the dinosaurs either side and then I put in like a main hub area here with our furnace in the middle. Um, looking okay so far, but over here is where I want to start to add in some bedrooms and I was thinking I want to do an upstairs would be quite cool. But for me to do what I want to do, don't forget that we've built this all a little bit off uh, centre. So these walls aren't in line with the ceiling below. So we're going to have to pick and choose what we want to align to it. And I definitely want to align to these walls rather than this ceiling. So to align to this wall here, I'm going to use the beams going from that pillar and take them across actually let's do it from this pillar here take it across from here like so see how that looks okay maybe one more 
Okay. Okay, no, we want to go from there. That's where we want to go from. Because what... Oh, it just broke that. Oh, dear. Now what's happened? Okay, we want to align to that. So I want to add some stairs going around this like that. And I know that's aligned to that pillar because it's literally touching it. But I think I'll do the exact same thing on the other side and we'll have two staircases going up to each other. I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay, we've segmented up this whole area now. So we've got dinosaur areas down here, little kennel sort of looking areas either side. Quite nice big sizes really for each area. I could definitely segment it up even more and add even like second floors, even third floors if I wanted to. So I think what would be best now for me guys is for me to go away and, you know, sort out some decoration around the build. Finesse any minor details that I might have missed. Um, do more decor for sure inside the interiors. And add some dinosaurs. Anything that I do miss, guys, do not worry because I will walk us through every little detail. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that and I'll see you guys after the cinematics. No pushing, shoving, eating each other. I'm looking at you, Mr. Wolf. And strictly no mating until we're off the ark. That's it. Come on, you damn basil bofo. Step this way. Lovely. 
and stop everyone there we go fantastic thank you very much let's just count you all up one two three mammoths we've already got mammoths on the ark i'm afraid you're gonna have to leave the queue i am so sorry god's orders okay well everyone just wait here because i need to go and give the grand tour to my audience and yes just to address the elephant in the room i do have gray hairs now i don't know why it just grew overnight and a beard i i i don't know why let's start the tour so as we come up into the entrance where the dinos come in i have done some decorating in here i decided to segment it all off which i think is a lot better it's basically the same thing i did upstairs but i also have done down here on a much larger scale there's actually a lot more i could have done down here but as you can see all the dinos fit on here very easily there's so much space i could easily get every single dino on here apart from a titanosaur and a brontosaurus i think they're just gonna have to uh swim i guess we've got our grinder over here with storage oh my god so loud and we've got our spinos here and carnos we've also got a load of cargo over here so that we can survive when we're out in the flood of course and even more cargo over here it is a little bit dark in the room there's not a lot i could do about that even if i like put some greenhouse up there it doesn't really light it up down here unfortunately but it's light enough it's not too bad so we've got all our dinos two by two in their specially crafted little zones on this side and on that side all the dinos fit very easily in here even the quetzals i managed to get two quetzals in here very easy we've got the diplo diplosaurus i've forgotten their names diplos we've got the diplos over here and we've got our two mammoths here we've got plenty of room for even more dinos i mean they're still loading on outside so uh yeah we've got more dinos to come in here so we've got more room for them that's all fine let me take you upstairs so up the triple wide stairs here we can easily get up with the dinos as well now i'll be honest there is a little issue up here the railings here this railing and the railing just below it for some reason some of the big dinos can't get up here if those railings are there so you might have to not have these two little railings here not a big deal but <laughs> i've kept them in just because you know i'm a perfectionist so yeah you can easily fit your dinos up here just fine as we saw earlier let me just quickly give you a demonstration with this mammoth come on up mammoth we've got places to go he's stuck on the food trough he's stuck i'm not a gamer he's well and truly stuck okay let's do it with screw it let's see if the diplo can go up there let me just remove the railings and we'll have a quick look so i've just removed them just to give you a demonstration i haven't actually tried it with this guy yet he was huge so let's see if uh he can fit up there fingers crossed ladies and gentlemen as we go upstairs we're stuck we're totally stuck oh no we're not we're not we're fine i'm a gamer look at that absolutely fine so yeah you can fit all the dinos up here as long as you don't have those two little railings there let me just put him back and i'll be with you in a second so up here we have our tapajaras and all our flyers they don't actually need to be on the arc but they just need a rest that's why we've got more than two of them because you know they're just resting up here and i'm fine with that we got our parasaurs up here you can get up the entrance as well and our gigantopithecus keeping watch for us on the tyrants down below i'm looking at you tickle chicken who's stuck he's <laughs> stuck look at him okay well if we come down here we've of course we need water tanks on the base so i put some water tanks to keep everything irrigated uh we've got our crop pots i've got these plants going down the whole of the arc and as you can see there's so much space up here you could fit so many dinosaurs on this arc it's crazy so yeah let me take you all the way down the base here and you can see just from me walking how incredibly long this base is we got argentavis up here just resting making an absolute racket oh my goodness me there's so many noises uh we've got a t-rex here who's apparently pooped out a bird i didn't know they could do that 
Um, over here we've got some crop pots for decoration and to feed us. You could definitely fit a greenhouse up here if you wanted to. I decided not to just to keep it all aesthetically pleasing. Um, up here you've got your little observation deck again with a different stairs layout. Just, you know, the curvy stairs here. So we can look out onto the seas while it's flooding. Okay, so if we come back down, we come to the main entrance where we've got all our medium-sized dinos in here. On the left, we've got our cargo again, another water tank. We've got to have water tanks all through the base to make sure the whole base is irrigated. Our thylacoleos, terror birds, all the medium-sized dinos and the little ones as well. Terror birds, raptors, you name it, they are on here. Even the Megaloceros? Is it Megaloceros? Megalodon? I don't know, there's so many Megalas in the game, I get them confused. But yeah, these sleepy guys that dwell in caves. And if we keep going, we come to the main hub where we've got a little seating area. Now, I decided to keep the hub pretty open plan, which is unusual for me because I usually like things really close together. But my thinking was that you're going to want to, you know, get your dinos up here and move around to get to the forge. So you can easily offload off your Anklosaurus onto the forge and put them back where they need to go. Uh, yeah, it's quite a nice little area, this one. Square, which is unusual for me because I always do uh, hexagons and circles, but everything is a rectangle today. We come on through. We've got more dino storage here. We've got our Caprasuchus. Uh, I've forgotten the name of these guys, but they throw poo, and we all know it. I mean, there's just so much space, it's unreal. Uh, we've got little kennels that I made with little roofs that are quite cute for the dogs and the cats. Uh, even more space that hasn't been utilised. Gallimimus, beavers, we got them all. So as we come to the exit here, we've got benches and storage. And we've got these two lovely stairs that's nicely symmetrical and decorated that take us to the living quarters. So if we come up here, we'll find two Gigantopithecus who are hard at work to keep us fed and well hydrated a little seating area for us and any tribe members that are working with us on this arc over here we've got these little cute bedrooms that have little cooking pots and benches in with beds which is a very nice addition because of course we need a place to sleep and rest our heads while we're working hard to feed all the animals down below and yeah, I really like this area because I've kept it open plan again. You can kind of look over the ledge and see what's going on down here. Uh, there's no reason why you couldn't have more levels as well. I mean, it goes up really high, so you could have easily like two or three floors on this arc. Easily. So yeah, guys, I think that's it. Uh, I've given you the whole tour. All that's really left for me to do is just to let God know that it's complete and oh my God. God, it's already raining. It's already, guys, it's starting. The flood is starting. Hey, God. God, I've built the ark. <laughs> Lots? Oh, thank you, Lots. You've built the ark. What a marvelous job you've done. Is there anything I can do in return? Yes, there is actually. Can you tell everyone to subscribe, comment, and like this video? Okay, please subscribe to Lowe's of Lance. It's free, and he deserves it. And comment down below what you want him to build next. And also smash that like button. Thanks. So, uh, how long's this flood gonna take then? I've got things to do. God? 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 Well, guess I'll go inside and wait then.